hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly we have x to the power of 4 equal to negative 4 now one thing you should know is that because we have this power of 4 we are going to have four solutions to this problem now x to the power of 4 this comes here to become plus 4 this is equal to 0 now this is very difficult or impossible to factorize so let me introduce other terms we're going to have x to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4x squared minus 4x squared which is 0 now 4x squared minus 4x squared will still give us 0 right so this means that um we have not changed the real equation now what i want us to do is this let's rearrange this so that we have x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared plus 4 then minus 4x squared equal to 0. now the next is this remember that if you factorize the whole of this then you're going to have a perfect square which will be you know we're going to have x we have x squared plus 2 and we are going to have this in two places then we have minus 4x squared which will be equal to 0 now i can you know work on this so i'm going to have x squared plus 2 squared minus 2x both of them squared is equal to zero now this is um simple now because i can apply difference of two squares okay from this standard if you have a squared minus b squared this is the same thing as a plus b into a minus b okay now i'm going to apply this same standard so that in place of this i'm going to have a plus okay not longer a but x squared so i'm going to have x squared plus 2 right and then plus i'm going to pick 2x close this and then in the other bracket i will have x squared plus 2 then minus 2x both of them equal to zero now let us continue because from here now i can rearrange this so i have x squared plus 2x plus 2 in this bracket and in the second i have x squared minus 2x okay and i have plus 2 equals zero and now we are going to apply zero product rule meaning that it is either x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to zero or what we have over here will be equal to zero now i'm coming back to pick this okay i'll go back to pick this but before then let's deal with what we have here first from here we have our a to be one our b to be 2 and c to be 2. We have a, b, c already. Let's get the formula. The formula is x is equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a. And we already have our a, b, c so x will be in place of minus b, I will have minus 2, positive or negative. Okay, b squared becomes 2 squared minus 4 times 1, because a is 1, then times 2. This is because c is 2. All of this will, will be over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. x will be minus 2, plus or minus, we have 4 minus 8 and this will be over 2 right okay so if we continue with this then x will be equal to minus 2 
positive or negative square root of um, negative 4. And this will be everything over 2. But then remember that um, this is the same thing as x equal to minus 2 positive or negative square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1 square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1 and the whole of this will be over 2. Now let's break this down. Okay, so this means that x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then square root of um, negative 1 is i and the whole of this is still over 2 is still over 2 so that if we continue with this then x will be equal to 2 into 2 here we have negative 1 plus or minus 2 into 2 here will give us just i right now this is a 2 in 1 solution because x here is equal to minus 1 plus i or um, minus 1 minus i. Now these are the two solutions of x from the first quadratic equation. Now let us pick out our second quadratic equation. Well, before then let me get this as x1 which is minus 1 plus i and then our x2 is minus 1 minus i. So here we have x1 and x2. Let's go get our x2, okay, our x3 and x4. Okay, so this is the second factor that we got before. So from here again, we're going to have two solutions using the same quadratic formula. A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus 2, and C is equal to 2. And the formula is X is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2 multiplied by a so that x will be equal to in place of minus b it's supposed to have minus 2 but negative negative will turn to plus so we have plus 2 plus or minus i'm going to you know jump a step while working this now, in place of b squared, now we're going to have minus 2 squared. And minus 2 squared will give us plus 4. Then minus, okay, so in place of um, 4, I have 4 multiplied by a. a is still 1. And then c is actually 2. c is 2, as a matter of fact. So this is what we have. And then the whole of this will be over, over 2 multiplied by a. Now let us proceed. Okay, so x will be equal to 2 plus or minus. We have 4 minus 8. And this is over 2. So that x will be equal to 2 plus or minus square root of um minus 4 and this will be over 2 but then let's continue x will be equal to 2 plus or minus like we did before the square root of minus 4 will give us 2i okay so we have here as 2 and now if we continue with this x will be equal to 2 into 2 is 1 then we have plus or minus 2 into 2i will give us 1i, which is i. Now, this means that x is equal to 1 plus i or 1 minus i. Now, we can split it so that our x3 is now 1 plus i and our x4 is equal to 1 minus i. Now let's bring the four solutions together. Okay, so I want to bring the four solutions of the equation together. So our x1 is um, minus 1 plus i, if you can remember that. 
Then our x2 we got is minus 1 minus i. Our x3 is 1 plus i. And our x4 is equal to 1 minus i. So these are the four solutions to the problem. But mind you, none of these solutions is real. This is because x to the power of 4 cannot possibly be equal to minus 4. There is no way it will be equal to minus 4 if x is a real number. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something new.